This time we're going to look how to do the escape wheel. So I was able to get the animation going, so let's have a, look, a quick look. This master sketch animates the anchor and then I use the angle of this rod to get the escape wheel to move, stop or move. Look below, there's a link to the GitHub page where you can get the files if you want to experiment with it. Back to the design of the escape wheel. The first thing to see is this face needs to be inside this circle. You can see it better here. This point is the closest to the to that arc here. So the face needs to have an angle to give some clearance here. I'm going to do a disc with this diameter and then I'll do the teeth with those dimension and do a polar pattern to add 30 teeth. So in part design, could do a new document, new body, new sketch, XY plane, Okay, going to do a construction circle for the outside first. That will be 160. And then switch here. And this. One twenty. Okay. Close. Select the pad tool. Make it five millimeters. Okay. Then I'm going to do a new sketch. X Y plane. Okay. Go back to the model. I'm going to hide the pad. I'm going to do the spokes. Going to do a first circle. And then a second circle. I'm going to put dimension 29 and this one 105, put then two lines. Trim vertical uh, three millimeters. Horizontal three millimeters. Okay, can bring the pad back. Close the pocket. Okay, then the polar pocket. Okay, I have the center of the pulley. Now the teeth. I'm going to do a new sketch. XY plane. Okay. Then I'm going to use this tool. Select the outer circle. And then if the use of the tool worked out, when you go and hide the pulley, you still have the placement of it. Now I can start designing my first teeth. Construction first. I'm going to do two lines. Yeah, and then put an angle of 12 degrees, change to lines, can do a one line here to here, and another line out here, set 
this this an angle of 114 degree let's go back to construction this circle okay diameter 160 so now I need to do the little circle at the end okay this circle and this line are going to be tangent the distance here is going to be 79 Diameter two millimeters. Then I'm going to do an arc. Put end points and rim points. One end will be this, the other will be this circle. I'm going to find something. Okay, trim and trim this, this, could do this and this tangent, okay, so now I have my first teeth. bring back the pulley back to the task close now have my pulley and the sketch for my first teeth use the pad tool gonna to do five okay have the pulley with one teeth I'm going to use the Remember that's pad 001. You can use the polar pattern. Pad 01. Okay. And 30. Okay. There we are. You can save. Now I have my escape wheel in one body. Now to add the gear to my escape wheel, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new body. Now I can go to the gear workbench. I'm going to do an involute gear for now. But I'm going then here, data, I can go 12 teeth. I'm going to do a module and the height I'm going to do 25 back to part design and select one body then the boolean add body now I have both the gear and the escape wheel in one body well tied together. And then there's one more thing to do is a hole in the middle here. So I'm going to do a new sketch again the XY plane. Okay, I'm going to hide this the circle okay side the diameter the rod I'm using is two millimeters so I'm gonna do two point four okay and then I can close We can use the pocket. 
do it long enough to go. Sometimes I have to do reverse. Now I have my hole all through. That's my finished escape wheel. I hope you like this video and you learn a few things if, if even if I had to go really fast to, so it doesn't get too long. Please like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.